I'm Andy Proudman, we're here on the 18th at the Asprey. And I'm Piers Ward and today we're talking about is there such thing as a perfect golf swing? Let's take charge of your game. Okay guys, what an absolutely beautiful day we have here at the Asprey. It is it's stunning, isn't it Andy? We're not used to this, there's not really any wind. It's a beautiful it's office this is today, Piers. Yeah, not a, not a bad office, not a bad office. Um, guys, it's been a hectic time for us recently. Last week was a really busy week. Apologies if we haven't got through the comments, the tweets and the, the Facebook messages as quickly as we normally do. We had a busy week, didn't we? Yes, very lucky last lunch week. Lunch with Justin Rose and doing videos with Darren Clark and playing matches against Rick Shields, yeah. just to name drop a few. So <laughs> no, guys, it has been a really busy time, so thanks for your patience on that. And again, thanks for your questions. We've got an absolute corp today. Yes. From Twitter, <laughs> the corp, you do like that. From Twitter, we've had a tweet from Jim Bourne yeah. saying, can we do a video on the perfect golf swing? So wow. that's just my golf swing, isn't it, surely? <laughs> just video his swing and put it up there. I wish. Maybe not. But no, Andy, that is a, we actually do get that question a lot, and it's a very wide, <laughs> it's a whole massive subject, yeah. isn't it? Is there such a thing as a perfect golf swing? Uh, no. no. Uh, unless you're a robot, then it might be a little, bit maybe, that's it. a little bit different. But I think you get a lot of people who are searching for this perfect golf swing. Now, there's not really a perfect golf swing. Yeah. Um, as you can see, all the, with all the best players in the world, every single person out there swings it very, very differently. You know, they've got different styles, but they all do things, or common things, so they all do some things in common, yeah. which allow them to do, so I hit the ball solid, but all, they hit the ball where they want it to go. Okay. So we're going to talk a little bit about that, about that today, of, of what the common things these guys are doing, and hopefully give you some checkpoints that you can go and practice to get that perfect yeah, swing. Yeah, definitely. It sounds good, and you're absolutely right. You see these guys, best players in the world. They all look different, but there are some key things that they do the same. So, Andy, what what is this? We have a drill, don't we? We have a drill called the PPL. PPL. The PPL. The PPL sounds plain. Good. Perfect plane. Perfect plane lag. I there we go. Got it Perfect there, there. plane lag. Perfect PPL. Plane lag. We didn't just make it up, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> PPL then. What's PPL, Andy? Okay, so as we mentioned, the. I mean, you can take a lot of the Bubba Watson, for instance, very different looking golf swing, but even Bubba Watson would do this very well. So the perfect plane leg, what I've got here, I've got the position, I've got a club positioned in front of my toe line, okay? And the grip end comes halfway in between my stance. Now, what the best players in the world do very, very well, they've all got different looking backswings, Pierce, but their downswings are very similar. So what I mean by that is their backswings Sort of Jim Fury, for instance, can bury your pride. Yeah. You know, Matt Kuchar very flat. Yeah. One thing they will do on the way down, they will all get into a position at what we call parallel point three, when the club shaft is parallel to your to the ground, it is parallel to the target line. They all do this very, very well. And Assuming this, they want to hit a straight shot, if they want to fade it or draw it, they'll differ that, but if they want to hit a, an about straight golf shot, they'll be very close. This is where they get to. So, as you mentioned, for accuracy, Pierce, this is a real key point. So, they all have different looking back swings, but one thing is in common, they get it to parallel point three, and they're in a good position. Slicers out there, generally we see you over here. Drawers of the golf ball, or even hookers of the golf ball, we see you in here. So, if you're looking to hit it about straight, then you need to get to parallel point three. You need to be parallel to the target line. Sounds good to me. Okay, so PPL, talk us through then. Okay, how, so how does this work? PPL, this is the drill. What we're going to focus on here is that we're going to swing the club back to parallel point one. Okay, this is less important, but it's still a great checkpoint when the club's parallel to the ground, it's parallel to the target line. We're going to then move wind up to the top of the golf swing, but then this is the key point here. Now, as we swing down and start with the lower body, we're going to focus on getting it parallel to the target line and parallel to the ground there. So you can see how I'm on plane that is. Brilliant. So as you said, Andy, it's really important that we always talk about this. You start the dancing with a lower body. If it's anything close to a perfect swing, if the, the stats that have been taken, relax there, Andy, for a second. You know, these 3D suits with all the pin, all the buttons everywhere and that the, the, they map out these goal swings. I think there's one guy who's, ever, who's been in the top 100 in the world who's ever tested who didn't start the dance swing with his lower body. Yes. So if, if, that, if we want to put that into the perfect golf swing, absolutely. So do that one more time, so I say one more time, we'll probably do it a few more times. So the idea of this is to basically match the golf club. So you swing the club back and it's parallel to this club perfect. on the ground. Now on the way down here, as you get to the top, we're going to start the dance swing and we're going to match the golf club up. Now, as you can see, that golf club is directly over that shaft. Yeah. This means you're on plane. But there's another component here that we haven't quite talked about yet, Pierce. Club face. Which is club face. And we want that club face somewhere between 90 degrees yeah. and spine angle. Okay, if your club is in this open position, guess what? Good chance you're going to slice it from here. So we want to make sure that club face is somewhere between 90 degrees and parallel to your spine angle. Yeah. 
Uh, it sounds quite varied that compared to what you're saying stick it on plane and be parallel to the ground, but it sounds quite varied, but again it depends on the styles of what's going on through the through swing and, and just, just before impact of the side. So yeah, that's a good that's a good area to do. Yeah, so there's the, the first component of the PPL. Second component is more from the front view here. Now, one thing we see in common for, with Again, the top guys piece is lag, and we yeah. talk about lag, and we've heard heard about lag in our other videos. But this really is a key component if you want power, but also this solid strike on the golf ball, especially with your irons. So, from a, a lag point of view, this is where this really comes into to um, to play here. So we swing back, point one, wind up to the top, and then we on the way down we match this up so we get the grip end of the golf club over the grip end of the golf club on the ground, still in the parallel position here. But as you can see here. We are delivering this golf club with plenty of lag now. Brilliant. Now the, ma the majority of we people we coach, Pierce, and a lot of the amateurs we coach, they will be at this position when the grip end is over the grip end. So you can see we've lost any lag there. Definitely, definitely. Just done an online lesson for somebody and that is exactly the same position they're in. They might be moving perfectly. So just tell one more time again, Andy, if you could. So point one, you can see that the grip, if we look at that, the grip, the butt end of the grip is actually just at the front end of the grip on the one on the ground. By the time he gets down to point three, as he said, he is covering them up. So the downswing is naturally narrower than the actual backswing. Backswing is wider, backswing is narrow. Very important to create a good lag. As Andy said, a lot of people get quite wide on the way down, too wide. It's a problem here. Yeah. Tour pros, some tour pros, they work at getting wide on the way down because they do too much lag sometimes. But generally, you guys who will be watching this, the main the majority of people watching this video, this is going to really help you. It's yeah. going to be something you can rehearse. Can you hit shots doing it? Uh, you can certainly can. Oh, yes, it's a, one, then. I think, you I think the, the, the key thing is you should rehearse it. It will certainly create some different feelings for you, but I'll rehearse one more and then give it a shot. So, parallel, wind it up to the top, start the downswing with the lower body, parallel again. And you can see that I've matched those golf clubs up there. matching up and from there. there. The base is square, there's good lag. The rest should take be, care of itself. Yeah, I'm not sure we can hit the shot because we've got someone cutting the green, unfortunately. Maybe we could chip one out of there into the water. I can miss him, there's no problem. Miss it. He's oh, right, yeah. Yeah, right in the hole. Oh, this is definitely adding pressure. <laughs> so let's do one more. So parallel point one, wind up, parallel point three. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Right. Give it a go. Let's give it a shot. What a shame. We've been really good at the back shot call then. No, really good bother with it. Good shot. Bit of pressure on that one as well. Okay guys, PPL, I like it. Yes. Um, Reverse that. Get you know, get you know, maybe a camera on yourself and watch yourself do that. Make sure you're in those positions. A mirror can actually work quite well for this because you're you're doing it from down the line and front on. So make sure you get those two key positions. But Jim, I hope this helps. This is about as close as we can get as to describing a perfect golf swing. As I said, Iron Byron does it. Us guys, we can't do human beings. It's not quite possible. But if you put those components into your golf swing, I'm pretty sure you're going to improve the golf. And there are other elements in the golf swing cool. as well, but these are just a couple of key elements that we thought we'd pick out today, okay. which the best players in the world do so well, which help them to hit the golf ball pretty straight and pretty solid. So, Brilliant. two key points really there.